What's up my follow trainers? Today I'll be doing a video called characters that I don't love but I don't hate either. You can say they're in the middle and yeah please know this is my personal opinion so don't hate me, don't attack me and yeah and um, it's kind of hard for me because it's even harder for me to hate a character. Anyways without further ado let's get on started with the video. Oh, and these characters are not owned by me. Uh, to not spoil anything, I put their owners, their studios in the end of the video. So oh, these will be from my list and number one that will be the one that I don't like the most. So yeah, coming at the number five spot, we have Shiro from Fate Stay Night. Where should I even begin with Shiro? Oh my god, how does he get all of the girls? Sakura, Ren, Saber, and every series, and there's even his sister. Oh my god, and 2006, don't get me even started. It was so harem. And yeah, I'm so jealous, especially in Unlimited Plateworks. Ren is my girl. Don't take her away from me. And uh, what else there to say about uh, Shiro? Oh, and in a limited blade works, what he do uh, what he does for his saber is so annoying. I don't want to spoil anything. I'm trying not to spoil anything. This is so freaking hard. And yeah, he's like. I don't believe he's Archer. I mean, Archer is better than that. And how the hell does he beat the Gilgamesh? Oh, because this is how the story goes. And yeah, I mean, Gilgamesh definitely will win. He's stronger, but he didn't. But yeah, if I have it my way, go Gilgamesh, you win, man. And uh, yeah, and I kind of like him in Heaven's Fields more because his character is less annoying. But wait, I have to see the other two movies to judge because if you have watched my random anime talk, you know I was so excited for Heaven's Field and I finally saw it with my friend and we were so excited <laughs> and yeah it was everything another character from fate that i have this relationship with is senji i mean <sighs> he he's so abusive towards his sisters his servant he see himself high he brag he's everything but i mean I can't hate him or something. Oh, and fact about Shiro, he shared my favorite voice actor, which is Sasuke. And Shinji also. He shared Levi, he shared Isaiah, he, say, he shared Akashi. I can't hate him. Why the hell did you pick those nice voices for, for them? And yeah. Okay, so his voice plays a part. <laughs> This is kind of silly to say, but I mean, if you dig into his character, I can see why he's like that. I mean, look at his relationship with his grandfather. He's so abusive. He's like, he doesn't have a mother or a father. They died because of his grandfather. So yeah, and in a limited Blade Works, you see their relationship will get better. And I, I mean, in Heaven's Fields, you can say that he's intelligent and he's trying to depend on himself when he's studying. And yeah, I think we're going to see more of uh, Shinji in Heaven's Fields and his relationship with Sakura. So I can't wait for that. And hopefully he will be a good guy. So enough talk about those two. Okay. So coming at the number four spot, we have Kagami from Korokonabasuke. Uh, this guy, it's not like I hate him or anything, but he's kind of annoying. I'm gonna do everything by myself. I mean, if Omene does that, I'm not annoyed, but if Kagami does that, I'm annoyed. I mean, as the season goes by, he's less annoying, but yeah. And how does the hell he eat all of this and doesn't get fat? Uh, I get so jealous because 
I have to count my calories, what I eat, try to stay away from specific foods and burn the calories and everything. And if he eats, <sighs> he does not gain weight. How? I know it's enemy and everything can happen, but I'm so annoyed of that fuck because, yeah. And then also there is like, yeah, in season one, how the hell does he stand on this uh, school roof and does not fall? It's not even possible, even a baby would fall there. And yeah, uh, again, enemy and anything is possible. Then there is a fact, what's with them and giving them nice voices? I mean, this guy's voice is so amazing. The guy who, who did Kagami, I can listen to him sing all day. But then Kagami does get the voice, I'm like, what? But then again, it suits his personality, so I don't have uh, much to say about that. And yeah, enough talk about that. Okay, so coming at the number three spot, so many guys are going to kill me for this. But no, this is personal opinion and this is what makes the world different. We all have different opinion. So it's Mikasa from Attack on Titan. I used to really like Mikasa, but then I got annoyed. She's like, Aaron, 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 everything with her, with her is Aaron. It's like she doesn't have much personality sometimes and uh, they're her fans. They treat her like she's a freaking god and when she's like really not that special like there's this girl from Death Note, I forget her name, she kind of looked like her. Another Rukia from Bleach. There's so many Mikasa lookalike. I'm gonna insert a picture of them right now. And yeah, and like, uh, like the other girls from the enemy don't get much appreciate because of Mikasa. Mikasa have so many freaking figures, like scale figure, Bryce figure, Nendroid. Uh, mystery boxes, everything, Mikasa, while the others, they scale figures or so hell expensive or chibi and yeah, they don't give much girls appreciate like they do in Mikasa and like there is Annie, my top favorite girl, there is Sasha, there is Henji, there is Historia and there's so much from Attack on Titan. But what they focus on? Mikasa, 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 Mikasa. <sighs> I get that she's strong and everything, but I don't know. At the end of the day, it's really annoying. So coming at the number two spot, we have Tomoko Kuroki. I'm sorry if I butchered the name, but she's from the enemy. No matter how you look at it, it's your guy's fault. I'm not popular. Kind of a long name. Anyways, I was introduced to the series by my friends. They gave me the manga on my 20th birthday, read it, then watched the anime. When I watched the anime, I thought, hmm, maybe this will lead me to the idea if I should complete the manga or not. I thought this is a series that about a girl who she's like uh, unpopular, but she want to improve herself to be a better person. However, when I watched the anime, it was like... She's not working on herself to be a better person. She have, uh, she's like, she have phobia basically, uh, from other people that she's not used to talking to, and I get the idea, but I wish like I get the idea that it's comedic and stuff and I wish like they made it a serious like she's trying to improve herself in my video and um, the manga that I'm gonna stop buying link down below one of um, the people told me that it have changed for her and that's good for her and I'm so happy however I wish they had present that in the anime and instead of like 
this 12th episode and everything that happened basically with um, is like kind of happened in this first volume so yeah this what brought me off of her i mean you have mikasa at least she have a strong character i was almost gonna put mikasa in the number two spot however i remember her and i decided to put her in the number two spot because of her character so coming at the number first spot we have veronica from duara i know some of you guys may like her love her think she's damn sexy but i will pick salty over her any day isaiah's sister are always there for me and the otaku girl i mean those are better options even ari i mean ari is super sexy and yeah but uh, i noticed that i dislike so many girls in this videos but anyway and yeah like veronica is so freaking annoying i mean okay i get her st character is like she's independent she's intelligent and whatever however she kills people without even having a feeling and this is so annoying and the fact that irritates me so much about her she hurt orihara isaiah she was almost gonna kill him i mean what because of you now he is in a wheelchair and he's suffering oh my god i'm so sorry isaiah i mean how dare you do that to my favorite character how dare you i it's like i almost gonna say i hate you because oh my god <laughs> oh my voice sound emotion and now i'm loving it. but yeah i'm like whatever but veronica why are you doing this like don't hurt isaiah he's like <laughs> how dare you just let me at her i'm gonna <clears throat> anyways you get that idea she almost killed isaiah isaiah is suffering now because of her and nobody deserves that especially isaiah he's my favorite character ever and yeah enough talk so thank you guys so much for watching and tell me down below which are the character you have love hate relationship or hate love relationship and yeah i mean not love but not hate yeah this is the right definition and uh, please don't get mad at me this is my opinion and share this video with a friend and yeah love you bye